Fridays. Today we're making a Korean and Japanese fusion dish. We're making beef bulgogi udon. Yes, you said that right. It's gonna. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's right. We're making chewy, delicious udon combined with super sweet and savory bulgogi beef. You'll just need a few ingredients and this will be made in no time. So, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we got our ingredients here. We got green onions, one skinny carrot, a few dried shiitake mushrooms. I've got some thinly sliced beef chuck, brown sugar, honey, mirin, soy sauce. We're gonna eat dark soy sauce as well. Oyster sauce and frozen sanuki udon noodles. Begin by pouring hot boiling water over top those dried shiitake mushrooms and covering it, letting that soak. We're then gonna start julienning our carrots. And of course, our onion, which I think I forgot to mention as well. We're gonna be just thinly slicing that and mincing about five cloves of garlic here. This is gonna go into our marinade. Once those mushrooms are soaked, about after half an hour, we're gonna slice them up and julienne them as well. We're also gonna thinly slice our beef into smaller pieces. And then we're gonna go pour about three tablespoons of soy sauce two tablespoons of mirin, we have two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one heaping tablespoon of honey, oh yeah, a bit of sesame oil, that's about a couple teaspoons, and two, table, two tablespoons of brown sugar and some freshly ground pepper, adding in that garlic, and then boiling some water, placing it over our udon noodles to loosen it up, and then we're gonna go heat some oil into the pan, Adding in our onions. We're gonna stir fry that up for a few minutes till it gets nice and toasty. Adding in our marinated beef, and then adding in our julienned carrot and mushrooms. Give that a bit of a toss, like so, and this is over high heat. Add those drained udon noodles and begin to stir fry, making sure that everything is covered in that wonderful sauce. And lastly, one drizzle of dark soy sauce for some extra color. Finish with some scallions there and sesame seeds. Yum! If you like this video, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe in the link down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see everyone next week. 